Hey, what is going on guys? Expert Fusion here and today I have a top 5 video with The Walking Dead Telltale Games being the topic. This is going to be top 5 most badass Clementine moments from season 1 and season 2. So Clementine has had a lot of badass moments and I took the 5 best ones and put them in order. So anything can imply, anything can you know be from season 1 to anything. Let's go. So coming in at number 5 I have an scene from season two episode one and this scene was when Krista was taken by or not really taken but was uh, pointed pointed at with guns by the bandits in those woods and Clementine basically throws a rock at one of them well you could choose to you could also just sneak away and try to get away with it but either way one of the guys from that bandit group comes after you and Clementine somehow is able to escape from this guy and stay away from him and I call this badass in my book because 11 year old girl you know being able to do this and especially the part when she bit off the guy's finger I don't even that was just absolutely amazing and then she was you know running inside of that little um the little log or something and then she started kicking the guy's face and then she ended up pushing the guy into a walker making him die and she got away so I give full props to Clementine for just being a badass in this scene and it was just, it was really badass, so that would definitely become a good spot for number five. So coming in at number four, I have when Clementine stitched herself together in the same episode, season two, episode one. Um, she was bitten by a dog, and the house group, you know, like Carlos, Luke, Nick, they thought she was bitten by a walker, so they put her into a shed, and the shed, she was locked in there, and she escaped because she knew she needed to stitch herself up, or else, you know, if she didn't do it, she would bleed out and probably die or get infected or, or some sort like that. So she decided she was going to, you know, sneak out and get the supplies on her own. And as badass as she was, she stitched herself together. Now that much hurt like a bitch, especially because she's not a pro at it. Obviously, she doesn't know what she's doing. I mean, Krista did teach her um, in the 16 months that um, they skipped over. And yeah she stitched herself together so I think that's pretty badass so that's number four let's get into number three three is actually season two episode two when her and Luke were going to the bridge and this kind of was two scenes not really but first of all you can choose to take a bigger walker there was a big walker and there was a walker on the ground Luke says take the smaller one I got the big one and if you want you can choose to go for the bigger one and I call that pretty badass because you know she's under people are underestimating her and she's showing her her abilities to be able to take out the bigger walker so that shows clementine's badassness right there and later in that scene she even saves luke's life from when he was about to fall off the bridge and there's all his walkers there and she saves luke's life so that's definitely a good spot for number three so for number two we have a scene that she didn't really do anything but it was when she watched carver get beaten to death now that takes a lot of guts i mean it wasn't like a nice bullet to the head. It wasn't simple as that. You know, this was him getting his face beaten in by Kenny with a crowbar. And she stuck around to watch it because, she, you know, she wanted to. She want, And everyone else le left. Even Jane left. And you think Jane would want to watch something like that. Only Rebecca, Kenny, and Clementine actually stayed behind. And it was just, it was a brutal scene. I mean, the, the Carver's freaking eyeball came out. I, I saw that um, when Kenny was, you know, hitting his heading in with the crowbar I saw a little eyeball pop out it was like oh god how would you want to watch that I mean that's like that's really hard for someone to watch and especially for Clementine like she's an 11 year old girl you know she doesn't see stuff like this all the time so I thought it was pretty pretty badass of her to be able to stick behind and watch it so Clementine definitely got definitely got a badass scene in that episode now coming in at number one is actually a scene before all this ever happened it was actually season one episode five um, where Clementine was kidnapped by Adam and brought to um, his apartment type place, or I think it was a hotel or something, and Clementine, and actually Lee comes to go save Clementine, and Clementine um, just watches them kind of fight out, and Lee was getting choked, or I think it was choked um, by Adam, and Lee was about to die, because um, Lee only had one arm there, so he didn't have much to do, he was trying his best, and he was about to die, and Clementine takes up her gun and shoots Adam in the head. And that might not seem like that big of a deal. But that was the f only, first and the only person she's ever killed in, in the entire series. She's not killed anyone else. 
I guess you can count Lee, but she didn't really kill him. She just, you know, finished him off. He was already going to die. So Adam was really the only one Clementine ever killed. Even in season two, she didn't kill anybody. Uh, not that I remember. She never killed anyone. She's, you know, put people down when they're, you know, about to turn or, or when they're already turned. Like Sarita, you know, she stabbed Sarita in the head, but she was already turned as a zombie, so it doesn't count. So the only human person that was not going to die before from like a walker bite that she's ever killed was Adam and that takes some badassness and that takes some guts in my opinion so that's why number one goes to when she shot Adam in the head so there you guys have it that was my top five for Clementine's most badass moments let me guys know let me know in the comments section um, what you guys want to see uh, other for top fives for the Walking Dead series whether it be the TV series or the video game series so hopefully you guys enjoyed have a great day peace out